Just hey, movie. first of all, if your child tells you that the, that a doll is committing murder, I mean, <laughs> what are you going to do? What are you going to do? It's a dilemma. You're in a real pickle. I mean, of course I want to believe my child, but a toy trying to kill uh, you? We weren't, I mean, we didn't, we weren't like all. a... Chucky had his own entourage. Like yeah. we weren't allowed to like mess with the doll. Perhaps mm -hmm. I think no eye contact unless we were. Filming. The only thing I did is in one of the takes when I have to do the scene where I'm, well, I don't want to spoil. But right. at the end of the movie, I did headbutt, butt the doll, um, <laughs> and I hurt myself um, yeah, doing that because I headbutted the wrong one. I headbutted the hard, hard, there was hard shell doll, and I just smacked it against my head. Yeah, that was stupid. That's why you only did it for one take. That yeah. makes so much sense now. Yeah. Uh, there's also a scene where he's, like, tugging on my leg, mm -hmm. um, except the animatronic doll kind of put his hand a little too high, and he was kind of just, like, rubbing my thigh. That was creepy. So I, don't, I threw my phone out the window. I don't trust any devices. I don't yeah. go near them. Screens, oh. Wi-Fi signals. Nothing. I haven't, like, no. looked at technology intentionally since I no. watched the film. Yeah, we're anti. We're off the grid. <laughs> First of all, I like the name, okay, Evil Hag. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. It's my handle. Not ashamed. I know that's right. Don't ever be ashamed. Mm -hmm. um, it was a real scary process for me um, because I think when I read the script initially, I recognized how kind of challenging it was going to be and how vulnerable I was going to have to be to, to pull this off. Um, so I kind of made that choice before we even started shooting. Like I just had a moment where I was going, all right, if I'm going to do this, I'm really going to have to dive off the, off the deep end here. Um, and for whatever reason, you know, that summer, last summer, I was just ready to do that. I was just in my own life. I was just I was kind of there. I was like, yep, I'm going to the dark place. Um, and just, you know, in terms of like my process, I think, you know, I approach the movie like I do all the, everything that I work on with my acting coach. And I kind of go through a, a process myself before I show up. Um, but because the mo this movie had this kind of dreamlike quality to it, and there were, there were two halves of the, of the movie and it all felt like this weird fever dream. Um, I kind of, I kind of allowed myself to um, adopt some different approaches and kind of do some more abstract kind of experimental things, um, which I think maybe helped me, you know, strip down a, l a little bit more and be really, really, um, you know, committed to, to the scenes. And, um, and then also, you know, Christopher Abbott and Sarah Gaddon are just such incredible actors that we all were just feeding off each other the whole time. And um, I think we all felt like we were in really good hands. And it was important for me to know that like Chris, especially Chris was someone that I trusted and someone that, you know, could really like rise to the, to that level which he totally did. And um, I think it just, it made me, it allowed me to, to be that vulnerable and to kind of like, just let go because I knew that he was there and Sarah was there and that we were all had each other's backs. No, I know. Sorry, you had to watch it at nighttime though. That's no, scary. <laughs> Better shake your booties for black girl nerds.